we said we were going to, you know, try to upgrade this uh, this offensive line. We did that with Jeremy Parnell and Wisniewski, and uh, now with a third round pick and and AJ Can and. Uh, this is a guy that's a four-year starter, 51 career starts at left guard in the SEC, and uh, he's he's strong, he's heavy-handed, um, he's a good athlete. He could play left guard, he could play right guard, he could probably play center. Um, so we're going to see where it's at. We'll have great competition in there this year, and uh, we'll take it from there. Is this a, I mean, obviously, by all accounts, you're pleased with Linder. Is this a sign that you are pleased with Beatles? No, I think it's a sign that, uh, you know, we, we need to uh, always – Keep in mind that we got to protect the quarterback to be able to run the ball, and uh, um, this game is one in, in the trenches, offensively and defensively. And um, you know, if there's a player of value there, we're always going to make a priority of, of building this offensive line. And uh, we have a first-round pick in Luke Jokel, a third-round pick in Brandon Linder, and now a third-round pick in uh, AJ. And um, you know, that's uh, you can never have enough offensive linemen. What do you think his skill set projects best? Uh, probably left guard, left guard or right guard, and. Uh, I think in time it could be a center. He hasn't done it. I know he's practiced at it, but uh, other than that, um, he hasn't had any game time at it. What did the uh, old ball coach tell you about this guy? You know, they love the kid. I, I believe he's a team captain. He's a, he's a great kid. He's a team leader. Uh, he's as polished as you, you're going to probably find. Um, upbeat personality, and he's going to be a great cultural fit in this organization. Is his body type different than some of the other guys that you have here? Or were you guys looking for a different type of no, um, not really. I mean, uh, we like the body types. You know, you talk about Brandon Linder, 6'5", close to 320. Luke Bowenko, 6'5", and, you know, 3'10", 3'12", somewhere along those lines. Luke Jokel's in the 6'5 range, and he's, he's nearing 320 these days. So the body types that we have is pretty good. The, now they're all starting to fill out in their first or second or third year. So this guy's um, um, he's, he's stout. He's strong. He's maybe a little shorter than those, than those other guys, but uh, – He's got a good base and he's got, got good power. That wasn't the case when you first got here. You really changed the look of the offensive line. Yeah, and that you know that was a, a thing, and it's a piece by piece by piece, and that's what we're slowly doing at every position. And uh, um, we've done it a little bit with the defensive line and the offensive line, and it takes some time. And you know, running back position, and so receiver position, we, we're doing it uh, piece by piece and just trying to get better uh, incrementally. Is this line built? more like a gap scheme line at this point now? Is that what you're I think to? we have a pretty versatile line. I think, you know, with the athleticism and, and the power of, like, a guy like AJ, a guy like uh, Brandon Linder, you know, they could, those guys can play in any scheme. Um, you know, Jeremy Parnell can play in any scheme. So it's going to give us some flexibility where we can run some gap principles and some uh, zone principles. Was the offensive line the one area that you guys really hadn't been able to create that competition you talk about in your first two years? Um, you we feel like last year there was some pretty good competition, and you know some of the young guys won out and pretty early with like Luke Bolenko. Remember we had Brewster and some of those other guys there, uh, Brandon Linder. But now it's now it's real, and uh, you know we have 10, 10 11 guys there that are going to compete, and it's going to be a good good deal. Did he visit here? Uh, we visit with him at the combine. Uh, um, didn't play in the Senior Bowl or combine because of injuries. Did you see it as pro day or private workout or? Uh, no, he was fine at the combine and um, and that so. Thank you, guys. Uh, you go, thoughts about getting back in the third round? I mean, we'll see. obviously receiver is yeah. a little spot here. Oh, uh, not necessarily. Okay. But, uh, you know, <laughs> if, there, if there's a guy there. But but we have, uh, you know, you go and play so many receivers, right? We've got three young guys we like and, you know, some guys that, you know, that are vying for those fourth or fifth spots.